Welcome to Ishkana, Graph Widow. Hope you're excited for some spiders. As far as the opening hand goes, I already kept because I liked it and I didn't hit the record button on OBS. And so I was just like, Ugh, gotta get going real quick. I didn't want our opponent to uh, to think that we weren't there away from the computer. Uh, do we want to lead off with Mana Crypt really quick? We're looking at Panharmonicon next turn. Yeah, let's just go and pass turn to our opponent. We can still hold on to Mana Crypt and not worry about taking that extra damage. But yes, welcome to Ishkana. Hope you're excited to get some green black rocks, get some green black spiders, get some good Golgari Dredge going, what name you. Uh, we do have some, uh, we have a lot of Planeswalkers in there too. So it's kind of like, uh, what is it? That, what is that card I'm thinking of? Doubling Season. Get down Doubling Season. They kind of, ooh, three visits. I was uh, I was really worried about not hitting our second colored source, but then you just draw into three visits and you're A-OK. -okay. Uh, let's go and grab Overgrown Tomb, have that come into play. I'm not going to pay two life, and then we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. But yes, we are playing Ishkana, Graph Widow. Uh, she has reached also Delirium. Uh, whenever she enters the battlefield, Delirium is active. We're going to be able to put three, one, two green spider creature tokens with reach onto the battlefield. Then for a seven mana activation, target opponent loses one life for each spider that you control. Draw two pulse. Um, do we want to get down Panharmonicon? I think so. We could go for Acidic Slime right now, but yeah, I'm not super wild about going for Acidic Slime. Um, let's go ahead and get down Panharmonicon. Let's tap down on Mana Crypt. Um, one thing that we do need to start working towards is getting down... Um, we need to get our Delirium going to kind of get those spiders going. Get down Panharmonicon and then anything else, we're going to go and pass a turn to our opponent. Now with Acidic Slime, that actually does work out to where we could get down Acidic Slime next turn and blast both of our opponent's lands, but we're here to have some fun, and I will not be going for that. So, if you're wondering... Uh, it is pretty enticing, though. <laughs> be able to blow our opponent's lanes up, but uh, more than likely, it'd lead to a pretty quick scoop. Not assuming that our opponent would scoop, but, uh, I, you know, just want to have some fun. So we'll probably just hold off on Acidic Climb until possible. We're playing against Solvala. Uh, parlay. Each player reveals the top card of the library. For each non land card revealed this way, add green mana, and you gain one life. Then each player draws a card. Uh, let's go and tap down on uh, Mana Crypt. Let's go Tails on this one. One to flip, one for one on our Mana Crypt triggers. And then draw into Swamp. Uh, so let's go and get down Swamp. Now, what we can do, we get down Genesis. That's going to be two cards in our graveyard. Do you want to get down Vraska? I think I like that. Yeah, that'll be a good way to... That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go and do that. It's going to be Mana Crypt because we want to... You know, if something does happen to Vraska, at least that will count towards um, another card type in our graveyard. You know, let's go and create a 2-2 uh, two, two Pirate Token. There we go. Arg, Matey. Anything else, kick it back over to our opponent. I love playing this deck because at its core, it's kind of like a green-black control shell. It's also a graveyard deck. We're trying to get Delirium going to get those spiders going. We're trying to go for a... a, a spider activation win sometimes but then there's also other times where we get down Vraska and we get all these tokens on the battlefield and it's just like a whole motley crew of tokens we've got spider we've got pirates from Vraska we've got pirates we've got wolf tokens from uh, green black gurek I mean it's just a whole bunch of stuff and our opponent does get down batter skull so we'll definitely be targeting that batter skull uh, with acidic slime so let's go and choose tails on this one lost the flip one for two on our mana crypt triggers and then we draw into Tranquil Thicket. All right, so we get down Windswept Heat. That'll be another card type in the graveyard. Um, let's go ahead and get that down. Is go for Genesis next turn. You know, let's go ahead and go for Vraska. I think that sounds pretty good. We can go for that plus one. Yeah, we go plus two makes it ten. We can go for, we're looking at it, minus ten next turn. Um, and then we get down Genesis to kind of fog the turn out. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Let's see if we can't go for a Vraska ultimate. <laughs> And with the double menace token, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let's go and do that. Okay, we don't have Delirium going. Uh, we could go for Pulse, but I like going for Arachnogenesis. And then, uh, yeah, we can get, get those extra spider tokens going. And that should be uh, more than enough, I guess, for us to go for that minus 10 and kind of close it out from there. Um, what I just love Vraska so much as a Planeswalker, and I'm really excited to see what she's going to do in uh, return, to, return to Return to Return to Ravnica. But uh, one of my favorite things about Vraska Planeswalkers is that uh, she always has a really fun ultimate. The original Vraska, uh, she has that minus... Uh, I, think it's, I can't remember what it is, but you get those three assassin tokens on the battlefield. Oh, it's a fun way to win the game. And uh, it's really, especially if you're building like a green-black rock deck like this, it's a really fun way to kind of get an alternative win condition like that. Uh, but we'll see what our opponent's going to roll out. We're going to go for this Genesis, uh, kind of fog out our opponent's turn, and then be online for Vraska next turn. So we'll see if they have any sort of answer for this uh, ultimate, potentially. And our opponent is swinging in at Vraska. That's only one attacking creature. Yeah, let's go and go for Genesis. Yeah, that's, I'm okay with that. All right, so that will stop the combat damage being dealt. Wait, oh, excuse me, attacking you. 
Prevent all combat damage will be dealt this turn by non-spider tokens. Okay, so basically, they're not going to be able to deal that damage to Vraska, if I'm correct. So we're going to let that go through. Still be sitting at a 10-10. Okay, it did prevent the combat damage, which is our opponent said that they're not attacking you. I get it. But uh, the main thing is we're going to be going for this Vraska ultimate. So, and with Menace on the battlefield and going for Pulse, that should be allow us to kind of go from there. We'll see what else they get down. But um, that's what we're going for. We're going to go for that minus 10 and then get the Pirate token win. So, do draw into Lightning Greaves. Well, actually, if we get down to Acidic Slime, um, it's also going to allow us to kind of end up... Uh, with the haste option to kind of swing and cross and deal that. Punis, ooh, Punis gonna go for Council's Judgment. Okay. <laughs> we tried to do it. Okay, Punis gonna get down Council's Judgment. More than likely, we'll see them vote for Vraska. Then let's double check. Yeah, they do end up voting for Vraska, so we'll go and vote for Vraska too. So we at least did have the, the ultimate online. Now, what we'll probably end up doing is going for Acidic Slime and cleaning up some of these lands now that our opponent did take care of our Vraska uh, win condition. And opponent's going to get down Bramaz, too. Okay, let's see what we draw into. We did try that. Let's go ahead and crack Windswept Teeth. That'll give us at least a third card type in the graveyard. Let's go ahead and have that force come into play. And then do we want to cycle? Uh, I think we do want to cycle that. That will be our land drop for the turn. But it's going to come into play tapped. We've got Mana Crypt. Yeah, let's go and cycle. I want to dig just a little bit deeper. Draw into Soul Ring. Very nice. I'll take that. All right, let's go and choose Tails on this Mana Crypt. Lost the flip. I think we're one for three on our mana crypt triggers and draw into Orin Reef on the Vastwood. Uh, let's go and get down Orin Reef because what we can do next turn is hopefully if we get down Delirium, uh, we can get that uh, get those plus one counters going. So let's go and get down Soul Ring. That's going to be one off of Swarm Yard. Let's go and tap down for Acidic Slime. And let's go and take care of Batter Skull and let's go and target our opponent's uh, Wooded Bastion, I think. Actually, we're going to target Temple of Plenty. There we go. That'll force them to tap down one of those lands to go for that filter mana. Take care of Batter Skull. And let's go and go for Pulse on Bramaz. There we go. Green, black. Tap down for one more. And let's go and push in for 2-2 two, two on these pirate tokens. All right, there we go. Swing in for four. And then anything else, we're going to kick the turn back over to our opponent. So we are still sitting at three card types in the graveyard, unfortunately. Um, if our opponent does swing in with Silvala... Probably not going to do that, but we do have Acidic Slime uh, that is going to be Death Touch, so that will allow us to... Uh... <laughs> We're very lucky that our opponent has no lands. Um, they didn't draw on land. But yeah, so next turn, if we get a creature card in the graveyard, that will increase our Delirium, and then we can go for Ishkana and uh, uh, get those spiders going. So <laughs> let's see what our opponent has in store for the turn. Opponent's going to go for Kodamas each case, so that will uh, allow them to get those extra lands going. So hopefully at this point we do draw into something that gives us that fourth delirium so that way we can get down each con and start going for the spider activations. Pun is going to get down Yisin, the Wandering Bard. I was going to choose Tails on this one. Lost the flip. One for four in our Mana Crypt triggers. And then we draw, ooh, Gurik, Apex Predator. I like that. Uh, let's go and get down, um, yeah, I like that a lot. And let's go and leave up some of our stuff too. Um, let's get down Bloodstained Mire. And let's go and tap down on Gurk Apex Predator. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's going to put us online just for Lightning Greaves and the other one too. So let's go and tap down for Gurk Apex. And then let's go ahead and take care of Yisin. Yeah, I like that. Let's go for the minus 3. Destroy target creature because we don't really want to give our opponent an opportunity to get some good... Uh, some good um, creature tutors on the battlefield. Let's go and get Lightning Greaves shifted over onto Acidic Slime. And I guess at this point, just in case there's some sort of haste option, we're only looking at Silvala. We're going to swing in double pirate tokens. If they could somehow deal with Silvala, yeah, so be it. We're going to swing in double pirate. That's going to leave up Acidic Slime on our opponent, and we do have protection, so we're going to swing across. Uh, hopefully knock them down to 26, and then we'll kick it back over there uh, to our opponent. Once again quest to get that fourth card in the graveyard, fourth card type, and kind of go from there. Uh, we do have a couple different options. We have Nyx Weaver, which is an enchantment creature. Uh, Grizzly Salvage, Life from the Loam. Those are all great options for us to... Ooh, Conjurer's Closet. All right, now, uh, fortunately with Conjurer's Closet, um, we can shift the Lightning Greaves over onto one of our pirates, but we end up going Conjurer's Closet on Acidic Slime. It's pretty much only going to be the option that we can go for. And I hate to go for a bunch of land destruction, but... Um, 
it's possible that we can do that. Hopefully our opponent gets some enchantments or artifacts out there, but uh, we may end up going for something like that. I'm trying to think, yeah, we, actually if we get an artifact in the graveyard off Conjurer's Closet, that will give us the delirium that we want. So then that'll kind of put us in a position where we can go for Ishkana. But I'm just going to go for Tooth and Nail, which is going to be... Did they pay for the Entwine off of that? I think they did. Let's see that real quick. Let's get the chat pulled up. Yeah, they did pay for Entwine. Alright, so let's see what we're in store for. Let's go and get that crossed out and see what they've got going on. Okay, let's see what the reveal zone is. Look, it's going to be Primeval Titan and Elish Norn, which is not too bad. You know, I was worried about something like Crater Hoof and Avenger of Zendikar. Uh, that would have not been too good. Well, actually, yeah, Primetime and Elish Norn. So that's going to completely clean up our entire board and then unfortunately take care of Acidic Slime too. Now, what we can do is if we want to get out from underneath this, we can go for hopefully kind of plus up um, on Gurk Prime Speaker, get that 3-3 Beast token with death touch on the battlefield but with that trample damage coming across that really kind of helps put our opponent in a pretty good position but let's see what they're going to search up off of this one all right they get those two lanes on the battlefield unfortunately we're going to miss out on conjurer's claws and six slime oh that's a bummer uh, it's going to crack bloodstained mire and if we draw into board wipe right now oh that'd be beautiful we'll keep our fingers crossed but that definitely does give us four card types in the graveyard i was going to choose tails on this one one the flip two for five on our mana crypt triggers <laughs> John the Toxic Deluge. All right. <laughs> exactly what we needed. All right, let's go, go for Toxic. That's going to be one, two off Mana Crypt. And we're going to go ahead and pay uh, seven, eight life on this one. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We'll pay eight life. Click OK. We'll make sure we're looking at this correctly. Yeah. Okay. Pay eight life. It's going to take care of their entire board. Um, let's go ahead and get Delirium going. Uh, let's go ahead and plus up on Gurk Apex Predator. Let's go and tap down for Ishkana. Get down those spider tokens. It's going to be double spider tokens. Oh, <laughs> let's go for Orin Reef. Put a plus one counter on each green creature that entered the battlefield. And then let's go and shift the Lightning Greaves over onto Ishkana. And let's go and swing across for a 4 6. Oh, look at that board state. Swing it across, knock our opponent down to 23. And then we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what we needed Toxic Deluge. So at this point right now, um, there we go. Click OK. Knock him down to 23, and that will be four total commander damage. And we're going to pass the turn to our opponent. So, uh, with Mana Crypt on the battlefield, hopefully, if we draw into some sort of artifact removal, um, we'll probably end up taking care of Mana Crypt. We're in an okay position at this point right now to where we can uh, hopefully get some pretty good stuff established. And let's see what our opponent's tapping down for right now. If it is some sort of board wipe, unfortunately, uh, we still have at least Swarm Yard. Ooh, get down Avengers into car. Yeah, that's fine. We can go for that. We can start to go for some spider activations. Okay, get those plant tokens going. And then they will be able to at least get down two different lands, so they end up with a pretty good uh, chunk of mana with some of these plant tokens. But thankfully, with Conjurer's Closet, that's going to give us blockers for days. So we should be in a really good position to um, definitely uh, kind of basically chump out some of these plant tokens. Okay, after all their land drops, we're looking at 8, 4, 5 plant tokens over there. We can still go for Gurik, minus 3 on Avengers in the card, but let's see what we do end up drawing into. Alright, Mana Crypt, let's go and choose Tails on this one. Loss of Flip, I think we were 2 for 6 on our Mana Crypt Jiggers. And we draw to go for the, the, uh, go for the Throat. You know what, let's set up, um, we do have Swarm Yard. Let's set up Conjurer's Claw, this can be 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to tap down on one more. We can still go, unfortunately with that happening, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, we're looking at 7 mana for the activation of Ishkana, so um, let's do this. Let's go and plus up on Gurik. You gain life equal to its toughness. This is going to be a 5, 5. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think I do like getting that little bit of protection on ourselves. We could get down Gurik and plus it up again. That does leave us online for Avenger of Zendikar. If we want to gain that little bit of extra... Yeah, let's go and do that. I want to make sure we protect ourselves. Let's go and go for minus three. Uh, destroy Avengers into car. It's going to put us back up to 16. Uh, we're looking at a 4-6 with the Ishkana. Do we want to push across to go for that regenerate? I think we're okay with that. It's only going to have reach. So basic, yeah, they'll be able to chunk block. So we'll just go ahead and just pass the turn to our opponent. Okay, that still leaves online. Go for the throat, and we can go for Orin Reef to kind of get those extra spider tokens going. All right, let's go and make sure that. Uh... Oh, I forgot to shift the lightning greaves around. Oh, that's a bummer. 
Sorry about that. Okay, I knew something was happening. All right, so we're going to go and target Spider. Um, unfortunately... No, we're not going to use that ability. So unfortunately what happened on that is I forgot to shift the Lightning Greaser over around for a second. So we'll do that next turn, and we'll also still be able to go for that. Uh, we can still end up going for Go for the Throat on one of the plant tokens and still have Death Touch and be in a spot where we can't kind of bounce back from that. But that was a misplay on my part, uh, not shifting the Lightning Greaser over there. I kind of forgot about Swiftfoot Boots. So <laughs> I was thinking it was Swiftfoot Boots in my head, but let's see what our opponent's going to be tapping down for. Okay, opponent's going to go for Green Sun Zenith for 8, which uh, should be Crater Hoof uh, entering the battlefield. Okay, which if that's going to be Crater Hoof, either way, I think our opponent would have had it on this one, even if we get down the spider, because we didn't make that land drop. And yep, there we are. So Crater Hoof, X is the greatest power among creatures that you control. I don't think there's anything that we can do to stop this, unfortunately. Yep, okay. End up with their 13-14, so we'll go and let that go through. That was a pretty good game, though, with the uh, Toxic Deluge getting that going. But uh, good game to our opponent. Oh, wow. <laughs> good game, man. You can definitely see our opponent is a uh, class act over there. But, uh, yeah, good game. <laughs> we almost had it on this one. We got, unfortunately, we had the Toxic Deluge to clean the board up. But they were able to get down a Crater Hoof on the battlefield. And so, uh, but, yeah, you know, we did kind of mess up with that Lightning Greave shifting over another creature to get a few extra spider tokens. Uh, that would have been another six tokens on the battlefield. And that would have been, um, let's see, that would have been 12 spiders. So even if we did hit the land drop and shift the lightning greaves around and go for an Ishkana activation, that still wouldn't have been enough to kind of close it out to our opponent. And especially with them getting down Avenger of Zendikar. Um, that really allowed them to build up a really nice board state and go for the Crater Hoof. But like our opponent mentioned, they did get it on this one. They didn't really say it in that nice of a way. So always remember this, you know, Magic's a fun game to play. And uh, if you get really worked up and if you're kind of aggressive in the chat, it is not... Uh, I don't know. It's not good. It's not healthy to do that. So that's not how you should approach magic. And uh, this was a good game. We had a lot of fun and, you know, win or lose, if you get that worked up about it, like our opponent did in the chat, that's just not, it's not good magic. So anyways, if you enjoyed the game, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.